Hey guys, Lofty here with a new tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to go through how to generate an AAR dependency from a Flutter module and then add that to a native application. Um, and this is very similar to actually my last video, um, this one right here, adding a Flutter, easily add Flutter to a native Android app where we took a Flutter module and added it to a native Android app. But uh, we did it through, if you look at the official documentation, uh, we did option B actually, where we're depending on the module source code. So I was actually going to go through today real quick. Um, how to do option A depend on the Android Archive, the AAR it's called. Um, it basically makes a local Maven repository because of ARs and, R and POMs. And um, it lets you build the app without actually installing the Flutter SDK. So it's actually very useful if you have a team working with someone else and um, they in the future might not have Flutter SDK installed on their computer, but they could still uh, just pull down the project from Git and then uh, run it right away. Um, so. Basically, um, I'm going to pretty much use the same two projects I used last week as a uh, part of my last videos for the starter. Um, I have the flash screen uh, module, and this is actually the completed module. Um, so I'm not going to go through how to make it uh, this time. If you want to, you can go uh, to this video. I'll link all the links in the description as well. Um, and then I'm also for the native Android app, which we're going to add it to. It's just this Hello World Kotlin starter, it's just a simple native Android app written in Kotlin. Um, so I already have this one downloaded uh, and I have it opened here. So um, if you look on the actual official documentation, uh, it tells you two ways to do this option A. Um, you couldn't go through running these commands and such, uh, which is pretty easy. But if you're in Android Studio, it's even easier. Um, this little section here. So I'm actually going to show it that way just to show how easy it is um, to do this. And I actually think this method, um, I did the second compared to going, building it based on the source code. And this one's actually kind of easier in my opinion. Um, so what you do is you're going to go to build up here at the top of Android Studio while you have the Flutter module open. Um, build, Flutter, and then just build AAR. And it's just going to build it down here. It might take a few minutes, but when it's finished, it'll tell you if it was successful or not. So I'll just go ahead and expand this. And then I'll be back when um, it finishes. All right, and then so it finished. So if it finishes successfully, you should see this. Uh, it'll go through building a few things, and then it'll actually tell you step by step for how to um, add it as a dependency into your native Android app. So we're actually going to go through this step by step, uh, but it puts it all here, um, and then it should say finish the execute zero if it was successful. Um, if it didn't, uh, and you can't figure it out, uh, just let me know in the comments. Um, but everything should be set up in the um, Git repo that I had, the simple one. Um, but if you have problems, let me know. Um, but basically what we're going to do now is we're going to open our native Android app. So I'm using this guy, Hello World Kotlin Starter, and this will be linked below. Um, I actually have it downloaded, so I'm just going to open it from here instead of downloading it in front of it, you guys. Um, so go to open, and then I have it right here. And um, in my last video, this package structure actually mattered. Uh, this time, if you're depending on it as dependency, it doesn't actually matter. You can have them anywhere you want. I just kept them together uh, to make it easy for this tutorial. So I'll open this guy up. And then we'll go back here and actually read what it says. So it says, open the host app.buildgradle. So open our native, uh, go to um, go to our Gradle scripts, and then go to the app level version. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to add these repositories. Um, so you can copy that, and you'll see this URL. Um, the second one is just for the actual Flutter SDK. The first one is for your module, and it'll pull a full path. I'm just going to use that and reference it. Um, the full path, but you can, if you want, actually make that kind of a dynamic path if you have them near each other. Um, that would be kind of the target um, if you were hosting this with an actual project um, with other people gonna, other people are going to use it, so it could be uh, dynamically uh, put in Git and such. Um, so for the dependencies, I'm just going to put that at the top here. Um, and if you're on Windows, you will have to um, change these slashes for to be forward slashes. Um, so I'm just going to do that real quick. All right, cool. So that's done. So step number three, now we need to add uh, some dependencies here. So that's in, also in the app level build Gradle. So we'll go back here, go down, find your dependencies, put them in here. They uh, actually missed the adder quote. So I'm going to add that in right here and it should be fine. Yep. And then uh, let's go sync that. Um, I might have missed something here. 
Um, and yeah, there's step four. So I uh, jumped ahead. Um, so in Android build types, you want to add this profile here. So you'll go over here, you'll find Android tag, build types, and then under release, you'll add that. And hopefully now when I sync it, it should just work. All right, cool. Now that syncs successfully, so we're all good. Um, and that's it, that's step four. So there's a few other things just to make sure it works correctly. Um, I guess the first thing is we actually need to, um, there was the one step, um, if you remember from the last video, where we actually had to make sure that um, we had uh, version 1.8 of Java in here, Java 8 that it was referencing. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, find that real quick and copy it in. Okay, so I got it copied. So we're gonna go to the Android tag and you just wanna add in the compile options. Um, make sure that's in there. We'll sync that real quick. And we're all good. So what I'm actually gonna do is open the main activity and that's all you wanna change. And um, I'm using the starter project, so I'm gonna actually copy in the code to run the Flutter activity. Um, and if, once again, if you wanna see this in more detail, um, you can go to the video um, I showed earlier and I'm gonna link below. Um, so. Yeah, that dependency, you want the embedding one. Uh, make sure it's not, not just a normal Flutter activity. Um, and then we actually need to add the activity to our manifest. So as added above here, um, there we go. And everything should be good to run, I believe. Um, so we'll go ahead, I have my emulator here. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it. Come up here, it'll show the splash screen on Flutter. There we go. That's Flutter. And then we'll go right to the native Android app. So yeah, that's how you have to do it. Um, really easy to do. Uh, I honestly thought it was a little bit less code that you're adding into the files than the, uh, depending on the source code. And it has the advantage of not needing a Flutter SDK uh, for a future developer. Uh, so just another little option for how to add Flutter into a native Android app. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if there's anything else you want me to do with Flutter modules and native Android, uh, let me know. Otherwise, probably get into some more either Flutter or native Android tutorials next week. So uh, thanks, guys. Catch you later.